Well, you've likely seen the murals throughout downtown Jacksonville. It's just the beginning. Phase one of the Downtown Investment Authority Urban, Parts, uh, Urban Arts Project ended with more than three dozen artworks. Now the focus is on phase two. Joining me now is Christy Holacek, the Director of Arts in Public Places. Christy, thank you for joining us. I want, this is exciting for you guys. There's yes. been a lot of art downtown, but this is just the beginning, it looks like. It is just the beginning. We've been working many years to roll out um, authentic public art for the city of Jacksonville. Now, why is that? I mean, w there's some art in downtown, but not a whole lot. It seems to be growing now exponentially mm -hmm. because of you guys. Uh, it is. It's a way to um, revitalize the city. It's a way to work with artists to um, enhance spaces that are maybe abandoned real estate and architecture. Um, and this is also for public spaces. So public art is integrated in the site so the community can uh, enjoy the city's public um, What are some parks? examples of art? Is it murals right mm -hmm. now? And will it continue with murals or will there be other types of stuff? Right. There's a variety of public art. Um, there are murals, which you see a lot around town. Um, a lot of private initiatives are also putting murals up. Um, but we also have mosaics, like the uh, Main Street Bridge has a mirrored mosaic okay. underneath. Uh, sculpture, and then you'll find like interactive functional work like bike racks um, that look like art, but you can actually put your bike up to it. But we're going to get into light. We're really excited about illuminating 24-7 uh -huh. for the downtown. That would be cool, um, yeah. So it's, it's a way to uh, get the community involved, um, show the identity. Well, I want to talk about community. Yeah. So if, if people want to come down and see it, but they don't, maybe they're not familiar with downtown, how would they know how to get around? Well, the best place to start is um, the Cultural Council's website. They um, administer the program on behalf of the city, the Art and Public Places program. Okay. So um, culturalcouncil.org uh, is a great place to start. We have a map. We have um, guided uh, public art tour information. And my real goal is to have an app in the future where you can do a self-guided tour as well. So there's an opportunity this week for people to kind of get in on this? Yes. Tell me about your meeting you um, coming up. There is a public meeting. Everything we do is of the public. So if you are a citizen of Jacksonville, you own the Art and Public Places art. It is part of your collection. So this Thursday is Meet the Artist and the four artists that will be um, participating or creating original work for Phase 2 in the Elbow District. Um, will be here and the public comes out and they talk about the art and they tell you about the city and, and then that's it becomes at the main library down. main library um jack's maker space what time does it start 6 p.m christy thanks so much for christy holichek we really appreciate yes, it thanks you got a lot going on downtown so the greater cultural council the excuse me the cultural council of greater jacksonville through the Arts and Public Places program. Once again, hosting that public meeting, 6 p.m. in the Jack's Maker Space on North Laura Street. That's at the downtown main library, right by City Hall and Emming Park right there. The artist selected for the project will be there, as she said. And as she said, the public is invited to attend. So come on out.